me in, let me in! Good shit, homegrown. What's your name? Chris. Mine's Barry. <laughs> Thank you. 
of you people. You're blind or something? You see a flashing light, you pull over. Thanks. We'll remember that next time. We ain't had no driver's training, officer. Next time, there ain't gonna be any next time when a judge gets through you. <laughs> I'm taking you all in. On one charge. Speeding. Speeding? How could you tell? <laughs> Speeding. <laughs> <laughs> Speeding and operating a motorcycle without proper equipment. Equipment? What equipment? Helmets, mister. You ain't got no helmets. In this town, everybody wears a helmet. All you have to do is go straight. We'll be right behind you. Let's go. when this road ranger puts a stop on me. Now everyone knows country folk treat you right, so he says y'all come and at least spend the night. Sing Lord, please make me happy. Sing Lord, don't make me blue. Sing Lord, 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 please make me happy. Second thing in the morning. I'm hey, doing brother, all these things. Survival, everyone tells you got one. Hey, man. How you doing? Quite some time. Long time. Yourself, Dean? Yeah, uh, not bad. Hey, Tony. You know who this is? He's yeah. Lenny's younger brother, Chris. You remember Lenny, don't you? Yeah, Lenny. He, he was a pretty good dude, man. It's too bad about what happened to him. That car really messed him up. I don't remember seeing you at the funeral. No, I was in Nam. Didn't even find out about it till two weeks after. Never did catch a mother that hit him. No, that really sucked, man. I don't even think they looked. It was probably some nerd in a Volkswagen with a brush cut. Yeah, it's a wonder they didn't give Lenny a ticket for cluttering up the highway. Yeah, and impound his fucking bike. Shit, all you gotta do is have long hair, ride a scooter, and wear colors. Everything you do is illegal. Hey, man, on that. That really sucks, man. This place really sucks. Everything sucks. Now I know this doesn't suck. Mm. Jesus, Reefer! We're all shut up here in this lousy cell and all of a sudden I smell that smell. Seems Chris pulled out a big bag of weed and a friend with weed is a friend indeed. Sing, Lord, please make me happy. Sing, Lord, don't make me blue. Sing, Lord, 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 please make me happy. Cause I'm doing all these things just for you. A motorcycle gang. I know all about you guys. I go to the movies. <laughs> Moreover, less under, in that end. And up yours. <laughs> guilty. Every time. You have been found guilty by a fair and impartial court of justice. Therefore, by the power vested in me by this
are the kind of people who give cycling a bad name. Hello? Hello. Uh, this is an obscene phone call. Collect. Christopher! Oh, what a surprise! What a wonderful surprise! Hey, where are you? I'm not sure. Somewhere between Saginaw and Kalamazoo. You're coming home, finally. I can't believe it. Yeah, I, I even got a motorcycle escort. When? Just a second. I'm going out now, honey. I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye, Dad. And guess who I got a ride with? A rock and roll band. Who is it, a busload of freaks? <laughs> no, the spirits. The spirits? I was wondering if you wanted to go to a wedding. Oh, Christopher, this all just so sudden. No, no, I was itchy lips. One of the spirits is getting married. <laughs> hey, lighten up. This is a religious experience. <laughs> 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 Wanna read it, man? I mean, you know, this is just helping you out. If there are any among you who see any reason why this brother and this sister should not be joined together, speak now or forever hold your peace. Buster's holding his own peace. Shut up, Lloyd! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> then by the authority confided in me, by the state of mind, I now pronounce you woman and husband. Man and wife. Oh, sorry, man and wife. All right, Lester, swap some spit. Get it on, Lester. Whoa, hey, Wayney.
Got some identification? Ah, oh, Frank, what do you mean identification? You got, you got identification? identification? Alright, got a name? Uh, Buford. <laughs> Buford, I'm Ralph, how you doing, Hi, Ralph? Ralph. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's cut out this shit, Deke. What's going on? Can't you see it's a wedding, man? What's wrong with you? I mean, some wedding. Mary, it's nothing but a wedding. Come on, I've had too many complaints. You got something against Mary? Complaints? Yeah, complaints. Complaints. This is complaints. private property. I don't complain. I don't complain. I'm married, you know. Bitch, child. Good thing to go, man. Get off my street. All right, easy. Easy. Take a break. What are you doing that for? Reap loose. Now, let's get your boys and get out of here. We don't want any trouble, so let's move them. I don't want to break up your wedding. <laughs> Things are a little bit shaky. Let's get your boys out of here. Okay, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Uh, uh, the next uh, week we're going to smell like pigs out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smells like pig sheep. <laughs> What is this? Hell's Angels visits the farm? Get up! I said get up, not get dressed! that motorcycle animal. You're the animal. I'm taking you home. Uh. I'm taking you home, you old man. Get dressed. Uh. No! No! We're ready to go home now, you pity bitch. Pig. Listen to me. You open your mouth to anybody and I'm going to kill him. And then I'm going to come back and ruin your face. You hear me? You hear me? You want some, Harvey? No. I'm Deputy Putnam. I'm the one who found your daughter. How do you do? I hate to be the one to tell you that, but... Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll get do him. that to a little girl like that. motorcycle punks are just a bunch of animals, I but we'll take care of them. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Thank you, officer.
baby, baby, what have they done to you? Hi, Daddy. They just gave me something to make me sleep. It's all right. You sleep now. Everything's going to be all right. The doctor says you'll be fine in a few days. So don't worry about a thing. Hmm? Just leave everything to Daddy. I promise you that whoever did this will pay for it. Even if I have to find them myself. Uh, Mr. Tang, can I work with you for a couple of minutes? Yes. I think we should get together. Hello, Mr. Tyner. Hello, Officer Putnam. You call me Vic. I'm John. Sorry, I'm late. I got held up with an accident report. Uh, did you order yet? Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, hi, Harry. How's it going? How's the old bowling arm? Oh, huh? bowled a 5.89 last night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mister, why didn't you tell me you were a friend of Vic? Hmm? What are you gonna have then? The usual. Okay, coming right up. We were in a doubles bowling league last summer, and she's got a fantastic hook. She has a, a little five-step delivery right up the middle, and then she puts it right down in the first spot, and right in the old crotch. <laughs> Here we go, Vic. Thanks. Is that all? That's fine. Thank you, Harry. Look, uh, my daughter was raped and beaten by some motorcycle mongoloids. And they're still walking around scot-free. Now, when is the department going to get off its ass and bring those lunatics in? Well, it's just it. We can bring them in for questioning, but it won't do any good. Of course, got our hands tied. Just turn them loose again. we got to have evidence. Well, Lynn would be able to identify them. Not a chance. They're blindfolded. Blindfolded? How do you know that? Throw me on the way to the hospital. Besides, it's almost impossible in this country to get a, a conviction in a rape case. I won't accept that, Dick. That uh, those bastards can can do what they did to my daughter and walk around free. It's the courts. But we can bust our ass for her case. Get a confession, everything. And it gets thrown out of court on a legal irregularity. Don? Hmm? What do you think you should do? I mean, what do you think we should do? You just said there was nothing we could do. I didn't say that, John. Well, but then what... No, John, I'm not talking about proper legal procedure. When you were in that hospital room this afternoon with your little girl, what were you thinking then? What were you thinking about them? The ones who did it? They what? What were you thinking about them? They had nothing but a... What, what did you want to do to them? Yeah? I wanted to... to kill them. That's it. You don't mean... That's the way to handle it, John. I don't see what I can... We... What? We, John. I'm in this with you. Look, I'm a man first and a cop second. We can do it. John, believe me, we can do it.
Area 21. Here we go. Four. Come over and help me on the couch, hmm? Help you? You help me. Get on the couch and hustle me up some money. I'm losing my ass here. I'll say. Chris, come on over and sit down. How's it going? Big Barry. How you, man? Hey, what the hell happened to you? I had a little run-in with the law. With the law? You got some pretty weird cops in this city. Two of them beat me up. I think they might have messed up Lynn, too. What do you mean you think? Don't you know? Well, we're up in the bar. What bar? The barn, on the farm, this morning. The wedding, remember? Look, you don't give me no shit. Hey, cool it, asshole. Fuck, he's not even in the club, man. Hey, shut up and let him finish, eh? Oh, come on. Okay, well, what are you doing in the barn? Okay, man, so you was in the barn with the chick bawling your brains out. So what happened then? All of a sudden, I look up. There's two pigs hovering over us. They had a riot gun. They're getting up, the one with the gun hit me. Must have been out for quite a while, because when I got up, everybody was gone. Check two? Yeah, everybody. Here they're holding her as a hostage. For what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they took her home. No, I don't think so. I tried calling her house a couple of times and no one answered. I just knew they did something to her. This guy was really crazy. What'd this pig look like? Yeah, he had a crooked nose. Look on his face. Yeah, low dirty nose, low squeaky eyes. He's went. <laughs> he ran around all time. Out in trouble. <laughs> 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 That's a good idea, I think I'll go with you. Now this way. Your lady any good? No, yeah, man, she's all right. Yeah, I thought so. That's what the rest of the guys said. Pretty good idea. And I suppose you think it was the road agents. Look, don't worry about it, Krebs. We'll handle this ourselves. Like hell you will. You're not gonna turn this town into a battleground for another way. Leave this up to me. Meantime, I want you guys to stay put. Understand? That means nobody leaves town unless I say so. 
And that's an order. That's a switch. Most of the time you want us to get out of here. Yeah. Uh, well, what are you going to do now? Well, all I know is Lester and Bummer were beautiful brothers. Now they're dead. Just this morning, Lester was married. Now he's got a widow. Yeah, man. One minute they're out to take a f and the next minute they're dead. Don't f up. Go to Cool. They were my brothers. When I see them, I'm going to f*** them up. And what do you think? I'm back off, man. You You too. Police say it is still uncertain whether the killings were the work of a rival gang or that of a former gang member. There is also speculation that the gunfire here tonight on Urban Street may set the stage for a prolonged, vicious, vengeful drug war. This is Bill Adams for WIIT from the Spirits Clubhouse on Urban Street. John? Anything. Why so glum? The last time I killed a man was at Batan. Batan? I, I saw that on TV last week. How does it feel? Just like the war, I guess. Why are you involved in this, Armstrong? I told you why Mr. Armstrong has agreed to help us. Yeah, I know, Vic. But I want to hear it from Mr. Armstrong. John, I'm a sportsman. I enjoy the elemental challenges of hunting, big game and small. It excites me. And I'm good. One of the best. So you're in this for the sport? Don't be absurd. There's no sport involved in shooting a standing target at 100 yards. Not with a scope. No, like any serious hunter, I'm also an ecologist. In other words, I'm basically interested in protecting and preserving the herd. Why, if a wolf or a wild boar threaten my deer, or a tomcat is killing my pets, I'd destroy it. Not for the sport, but out of necessity. Well, humanity also has its wild boars, its berserk members. These people were born misfits. They can't even get along with their own kind. Their total disregard for law and order and morality is a threat to the survival of all of us. To me, they're beyond rehabilitation. And I have no qualms whatsoever about shooting them. Maybe you're right. We know Maybe right. it was a road agent. What? We don't know this for sure. Shit. Let's have a talk with them first. Talk. If they had balls enough to come here and kill Lester and Bummer, yes. they should have balls enough to meet with us. Shit, it was that man I know it was there. Oh, 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 right. There ain't no sense going off half cock. We'll have a meeting tomorrow. Just give me one good look at Jake Shayton's face, and I'll tell you if they did it or not. Chris! Oh. 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 Boy, I've really been worried. I've been so worried I called, about I, you. I, I called all over. I, I saw it all in the house. news. Were you there? Yeah, it was really horrible, but I don't want to talk about that. Are you all right? Sure, I'm okay. What happened after they knocked me out? Oh, they just roughed me up a little bit. But I'm okay now, honest. Then what are you doing here? I don't know. I just woke up here. Father was here for a while, but I really don't remember too much. Did you tell him who did it? Yeah. What's he going to do? Oh, I don't know. Do him, I guess. Sue him. Shit. Sue him? Is that all? I don't know, Chris. He just said he'd take care of everything. Hey, Chris. Who do you think killed those guys? I don't know. I don't have any idea.
I really don't have any idea. I've only been in town a couple of days, remember? But some of the guys seem to think it was uh, another motorcycle club. The road agents. The road agents? Uh, they're a weird outfit. You know them? Oh, I've seen them riding through town a couple of times. Well, anyway, they were all set to go down there last night with guns and the whole bit. But Deke decided to talk to him first. So we're going to meet him down at the drive-in on Highway 41. Chris, are you going? Yeah. Be careful. I will. Besides, it couldn't be any worse than that pig. I gotta go now. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. How you doing, man? I got two dead brothers, man. Yeah, hey, I was sorry as Jesus to hear that, man. Aw, oh, come on. You don't think we did it, do you? Listen, if you really thought we did it, you wouldn't just be standing here talking. Our club's got nothing against your club. That kind of shit went on with rock and roll. 
Besides, nobody in our club's got a rifle like that. Like what? The kind your people were killed with. How do you know what my people were killed with, Jake? Aw, oh, come on, Deke. Those things get around. So who do you think did it, Jake? It's hard to say, man. Did you guys get in anybody's face lately? No. A couple of weeks ago, at a party over at Magoo's place. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> Doctor. Hold his hands, Deke. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh. Come what do you mean today? Bad. Jesus Christ. Look at her bleed, man. Man. Easy. Oh, man. What are they doing, man? Oh. Gotta come out. You got Blue Cross? Oh, man. He's bleeding to death. Hurry up. All right, man. Just hold him. Souvenir, man? Uh, okay. Uh, Give me some towels. Uh, uh, hurry up. Okay. Right there, Jeff. Oh, hey. right. Let's go. Get him out of here. Let's go. Oh, man, what'd you do, cut it off? Harry, <laughs> <laughs> why don't you go over to the clubhouse and tell all the guys to get their shit together. We're going on a run.
Holy shit! Wow, look at that, man. I need to fuck the clubhouse. So, Deke. What is this place? <laughs> the best money can buy. Like the good book says, boys. All good things come to those that wait. And here we have good things. A 12 beam of U.S. steel supporting 42 inches of reinforced concrete, 10 inches of lead, 6 feet of crushed gravel and limestone, 10 feet of asphalt above that 2 feet of topsoil growing 2 inches of luxurious Miriam bluegrass. Why, this place was built to withstand a 17,000 megaton blast at ground zero. Of course, we would lose our grass. You boys came here for guns. <laughs> Let's see what I can do to help you. Americans, one of your most precious freedoms is the right to bear arms. The right to carry a gun. Be proud of that right. Be proud of your gun. Pack the crap, we come for guns. Gentlemen, your gun. I'm sorry, gentlemen. But the automatics are all on reserve. <laughs> If you'd have called yesterday, I could have got you a couple of claymores and uh, Bazooka, but uh, Elbert Twyford is planning a little action with our student control group this weekend. <laughs> Elbert is one of our deacons, you understand, so I sort of felt honor bound to keep my prior commitment to him. By the way, I do have something else which I think you boys will like. <laughs> You understand, of course, you'll have to buy these outright. I simply can't rent you fellows hand grenades. <laughs>
I can't help it, man. Eat my butt. I ain't getting no job. I ain't getting nothing. You want a job? You go ahead and get a job. I know I break down all the time, but I fix it and fix it, and well, I just keep on breaking and breaking and breaking. What can I do? Riding, He's a trucker. So what'd you expect? Jimmy Hoffa? <laughs> What's the trouble? This isn't one of my regular stops, you know. You got a bike down. Yeah, yeah, I saw the bikes. I got a bike. I used to have a mini bike, you know, but I, I traded that in and got a big bike. Then now I got a Honda 125. Ooh, wheel stands. Well, you know. Uh, what kind of bike's broke? A Honda? Maybe I can fix it. Uh, we got all Harleys. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, them Japanese don't make good bikes. This ought to be easy to fix. <laughs> yeah, but the Suzuki's broke on this one. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a bummer. Got any room in the truck? Room. <laughs> Listen, man. You talk about room. Why, if you got the animal, I got the ark. If he's running empty, there's room a plenty with a semi-man. There's a man riding high in the cab of a big semi. He's a trucker and he'll help you if he can. Oh, semi-man, semi-man, won't you help us if you can? Semi-man, semi-man. Getting through is in your hand. How you doing, officer? Fine. You see any bikers down the road? Ah, uh, sure as hell did. Them ugly bastards just about ran me off the road. How far down? Oh, uh, they're right back there on uh, Polk Road. Okay, thanks very kindly. Okay. How'd you get in? Through the ventilator shaft. Is there any other way? I'm so glad you came. I've really been feeling terrible all day. What's the matter? Chris, I have a confession to make. I lied to you yesterday. About what? Um, I really didn't tell my father about the cops. You didn't? Why the hell not? Because the cop told me he'd kill you if I did. And I believe he would. I really do. So what did you tell your father? I didn't tell him anything. He just started jumping to conclusions. He keeps talking about those filthy animals. I think he thinks the bikers are the ones that beat me up and raped me. Raped you? You won't kill anybody, and you know it. Chris, I'll tell him tomorrow, but I'm really worried about him. He's been acting like such a different person ever since this thing happened. He's so full of anger and hate. All he keeps talking about is revenge. Sometimes... I'm almost afraid of him. Lynn. Lynn. Daddy? Daddy, I... I'm just... 
just come back to tell you that after today, everything's going to be all right. Believe me. Daddy, where are you going in those clothes? Uh, I'm late for a very important meeting, dear. Daddy, I have something very important to tell you. You'll have to tell me later, dear. I'll come back this afternoon and we'll have a long talk. Now, now, what's all the excitement about, Miss Diner? Right there. Get your hands up. Come on, higher. Higher. I could arrest you right now for polluting the water or being a public nuisance. Sir, I checked the numbers on that bike. Half of it's going to be stolen. That bike's legal, man. Shut up. But I could do those things. I say I was going to. You stand right there. What's your name, boy? What's this boy shit? All right, what's your name, man? Harold Dozer. My friends call me Lemon because my bike always breaks down. But you can call me Mr. Dozer. All right, Mr. Dozer. I just want to ask you a few questions. It makes you a little deal. That's hard to believe. You know anything about those guys that got killed in your gang? Well, all right, club. No, man, I don't know who killed my brother. You haven't got any idea at all? Just some rotten pig. Pig? Yeah. You mean police officer, don't you? No, I mean pig. You guys think you're pretty smart, don't you? I see where you guys look at me on the street. You blame us? I know what you're thinking. You think you're pretty damn smart. Please, man, you're crazy. You're sick. You're crazy that you're not smart enough. Not smart enough for Vic Putnam. Lord, is sir, teach you a vehicle, and I intend to do so. Hey, this ain't the way a dog cemetery is, Bill. <laughs> hey, this ain't the way a dog cemetery is, Jack. <laughs> hey, this ain't the way the dog cemetery is. Can't you see what this is? This is a funeral here. I've got my orders. No, they're clean, I suppose. There's only one more thing to check. That's your buddy. Let's go.
stayed up last night and I wrote down what I was going to say today. After writing it on a piece of paper and looking at it and memorizing it, I just couldn't bring myself to saying it. Lester, Bummer, and Clarence, they deserve more than that. And it sounds too rehearsed. And nothing in our life is rehearsed. It's all real. We take it like it comes and give it back twice as hard.
Look out! Try and make it to the highway. I'm staying. I said get out of here. Now!
Lynn, what are you doing here? Daddy, why? For you, baby. I did it for you. Oh, Dad. They didn't do anything to me. I tried to tell you it was the cop. Him!